So we're on our way to Brenton on Sea. And this must be the reports we heard. Yes, yes. Oh, about the trees falling. Okay, so they've opened one lane at least. Fortunately. For us to get through. This looks quite major. It does, eh? They're cutting up the trees. Look at that, that's where it's flushed oh, down. Oh wow. Crazy. Sorry, that went a bit skew. This is the Kaimans River. So this is the Kaimans River Pass. I didn't realize they had this much rain. At least we could get past there, eh? That's a relief. Yeah, thank goodness. So as you can see, we're on our way to Brenton on Sea. And if you look at the map, it's about a 65 kilometer drive from George to get there. Uh, we were pretty worried about that last section, but we made it. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering where are we going to stay tonight. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, all good. you were right I said this is not where we come down and you said this is where we come down and you were right I was correct check the caracal wow this is pretty oh, cool bridge too sure so Brenton is a place we've never been never been there This is a road I've never travelled. No. Like those. Yes. You ask <laughs> You ask why do you feel there's a view coming yes, up? Yes. Because just, we're going up. Yeah, I just feel that there's gotta be a stunning view and there was. Going even higher. Oh, brilliant. Oh, look at that. There's a little pull off place for you. Definitely. Oh, nice, my seahorse. Look at that. And this is called Margaret's viewpoint. How beautiful is this view? One sees many places here. Eh? So this looks like Belvedere. Yes, down here, yeah. Which I have never heard about. Yeah. And there's the road that goes around to, to Nisna. That's Nisna in the yes, distance. Yes, that's Eason's Island. Yes. Yeah. There's a map on that table. Yes. Interesting how they put it flat. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokes. You were correct. Sure. And the knives oh. and the seahorse. A curious mixture of animals. There's the ocean. Yeah. Wow. That's the beauty really. of the garden route. Did you see here? We're in 
wanted a conservancy. Yes. They say wild animals on the roads and verges. Fantastic, eh? Unfenced road. Watch out. Oh, that's fantastic. Just to keep it slow. Yeah. Slow down, we all share the road. Cute. Love that. Even the dung beetle. <gasps> Cute sign, eh? Yes. Oh, I've never seen a sign quite like that before. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing any of those. Not at all. Or any relatives of them. wooden cavern hey. of our own. <laughs> Stunning. <sighs> Let's go and inspect. Look at this. This is nice. Nice and spacious, yo! Kitchen net. And the bathroom. We went to Neisner to go and buy us some cool drinks and beers and um, this is the view from Brenton on Sea overlooking Neisner. How stunning is that? This is our supper we bought uh, and our Accommodation doesn't have a microwave, but they have an air fryer. So we've put this in the air fryer and heated up. And this is what we're going to have. Lamb curry and rice with mixed veg. Well, the two of us have just been convinced that uh, the next kitchen equipment we buy is an air fryer. <laughs> we've been quibbling about should we, shouldn't we? And we've decided it is really handy. It heats up food in no time. And that curry was absolutely brilliant. So... We want to thank you for being with us today 
and uh, we're going to have a good night's rest and we'll see you in the morning. Two cups of rooibos tea in Brenton on Sea. <laughs> what a nice comfortable evening we had at Zoe's dollhouse in Brenton on Sea. Oh, it was okay. I think it's still very much a um, construction site and a work in progress. Yes. I think it needs a bit of work still. But it was a, a cute little a log house. So here, I was under the impression this view is from the property, from the marketing material, but apparently here we can see a stunning view. So I'm going to go and have a look. Yes. How gorgeous is this? Oh, there's little points sticking out there. Oh, I think close to the knives in their heads. And as you can see, we've got clear skies today. The sun is a shining. Oh, I hope it stays like this for the rest of the trip. Look at the beautiful tables. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, they're still busy doing this one. Welcome to Waves and Wales Viewpoint on Steenbra Street. What a stunning view. Let's have a look see what Brenton on Sea has to offer. Lots of log houses, hey? Yeah. I love that. Looks like a beautiful beach down there, hey? Yeah, apparently a, a never-ending beach. Yeah. Shop. Yes. In the restaurant. Stop to the host. So the entire area is a conservation area. Yeah. I read about the Brenton blue butterfly. Okay. Oh, here it is. You see, there's the butterfly. Yes, revive. Wouldn't that be nice if we could see one? Apparently, they're very much endangered. I found a little piece about that.
taste the butterfly, yeah. Did you find a little piece about it? I read the endangered Brenton blue butterfly is responsible for large sets of land in the Brenton area remaining undeveloped. The last breeding colonies of the tiny endemic butterfly are found here and in 2003 the land was proclaimed a special nature reserve to try to save the species. Oh wow, that's nice. I wonder how successful their efforts have been. Yeah. So many green areas, which is fantastic. Yes, it is. Just take a quick walk down here and see what it looks like. Loads of little benches here for the view. Morning. Welcome to Steps to the Beach at Brenton on Sea. The Brenton Blue Butterfly. It seems like this must have washed out some crazy seas a few months ago. Washed out completely, eh? Must have been crazy seas. What a beautiful beach this is, eh? Yeah. Look at these rock formations. This is so cool. Look at that rock up there.
Oh, what a stunning beach they have here, eh? Goes for kilometers and kilometers. Yeah, that's why they say it's seemingly yeah. never ending. So we're thinking of having breakfast at Blue. Yes, why not? Morning. We're having tomato cocktail to drink this morning and then Sonny's having the cannellini beans and mushrooms and I'm not very hungry this morning I'm gonna have the bacon and eggs scrambled. These are our tomato cocktails with a beautiful protea. Is it a protea? I think it's some kind of protea yes like a pincushion type. Okay this is Sonia's breakfast Look at all those beans and mushrooms. Smells, yeah. smells delicious, eh? Yeah, it looks good. Though. And this is mine. Scrambled eggs with bacon. Blue restaurant. Breakfast is done and dusted. Great stuff. It was good. I Just enjoyed too it. Too much, mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you have some lunch. That's perfect. That was lovely. Oh Vic, I'm going the wrong way around. You want to go the way we came? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nations flag. Oh, la, la. This is Tuna Street. Yeah. It's called these little 
cottages. Ah. They are cute. Very. Look at these. Sure. Interesting roof, so. Yes. I love these, eh? They're very nice. Everything streams holiday. Oh, yes. Garden root vegetation is all around us. Yep. I can never get <coughs> enough of it. Oh, it's beautiful. Dagama. Don't you just love that they have a little butterfly on every street sign? Yes. So the butterfly is a big part of Brenton. Ocean views from yeah. up here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Ocean is a beautiful colour, eh? Yeah, yeah. We're quite high up already. Yeah. We were just down there. Comes up quickly. Yeah. First. I still am. <laughs> um, so we basically book a day in advance as we go. Yes. Because the weather lately has been so up and down that we've sometimes struggled to reach our accommodation in time. Yep. So there were lots of accommodation options in Brenton on sea, but very, very few. It's on the ground and um, in our budget. Yes. Yep, we have to work on a budget. Very fancy places here in Brenton on Sea. Come on, don't worry. Here we go. I can imagine the fancy places, yeah. But then it's big and stuff, and we don't need big. No, we just need a bed, a kitchen, and a bathroom. Oh, we yes, can ask these ladies, ask. yes. I must say, it's really enjoyable to speak to locals, eh? <laughs> How passionate are they about their uh, town? Uh, it was really interesting 
They just can't stop talking. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, so they're pointing us all back to Steenbras yes. Street, which is the Place street where we, we stayed, stayed over. Oh. Yeah. Um, so there are two places that I'd like to go see if we can find. Okay. We came in on this road yesterday afternoon, but it was all cloudy and rainy. Looks a bit different this morning. <laughs> It's so great to have clear skies. Yeah. Well, for me, this is clear. Yeah. I don't mind the clouds. But not to have rain is fantastic. Yeah. We had constant rain the first two days. Yeah, it was raining. Yesterday it was raining virtually all day. This is Steenbrots. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I got a bit confused there halfway. It's because they were all speaking at the same time. <laughs> Log homes and trees. What more can you ask? Exactly. These are beautiful homes. Eh? Yes. Oh, fisherman's Walk. There it is. Okay. I'll come back to that. All right. See there it says critically endangered. Yes, I see that. So we chatted to the ladies to ask how we get here and it's very sad. They say there are no butterflies anymore. Well, not at the moment at least. They oh. say there was a fire in 2017. Yeah, and they were destroyed and they've had people looking, professionals looking for them, but they can't find them. Well, not yet. We hope that they continue looking. and. Yeah. Um, they say what happened was that normally the ants take the larvae into the nests yes. and they feed them. And that's what helps spread the population, grow the population. But the ants are also gone. So I suppose when the fire came, it mm. killed all the ants. That's wild, eh? I'm going to just take a walk in there and see. Maybe I'm the lucky one. Uh, I hope spring's eternal. <laughs> It's a thick brush, eh?
So all of this was destroyed in the fire. I just saw a butterfly, but that's not a blue one. So this is the little reserve. So you weren't the lucky one? No, I didn't see him unfortunately, or her. You saw a yellow one? Saw a yellow one, but it didn't want to stand still long enough for me to... <laughs> to capture it on full? Yeah. Yeah, it's sad though. Yeah, it might be a little butterfly, but it, I think it, it's... Uh, it's another species that may be gone. Yeah. But hopefully they can somehow bring it back. This is the whole little area here. Yeah. That's this fantastic. I wanted to come and see yes. the little place. Butterfly is a big symbol here. Okay, so you're going to go a walk with the fishermen? Yes, I want to go and do the fisherman's walk. Fisherman's walk. Put rolls of plastic here for your dog's um, whatever you call it. Well, I'll be... Absolutely gorgeous.
there are little benches where you can sit and check it out. Bend down to get through, yeah. I'm going to go back there and take the right leg when I came in there was a I took the left walk I'm going to quickly go back and take the right walk so this is where I came in and I went that way so now I want to go this way and just have a look at the view is spectacular and there's like little what do you call them coves and there's little beaches there I wonder how one reaches I think you can only get to those beaches by boat because there's no way down the cliff to get there really but these beautiful little look just little coves of beaches where you can be so private it's like insane it is really beautiful here do they have little poop scoop bags there <laughs> Well, like these little bread bags that they roll there that you can take so that you don't leave your dog's mess behind. Cute. Angels leap. Look at angels leap. There's Brenton on sea. Can't see the whole of it, but it's there.
Angels Leap. You've now done a leap and a walk. Yep. In Brenton on Sea. Well, we're leaving Brenton on Sea now, and there's a place to the right that I want to go to. On the map, it calls it Brenton. Yes. But I think it's Lake Brenton. I think so too. Let's go and have a squiz. We saw the sign last night. Yes. Is it this? Yes, that's it. Lake Brenton. We can figure something out when we go look there. Yes. Want to go there now? Yes. Right, Brenton Estate. So we are there. Looks like a lot of estates, doesn't oh, it? It does. But let's take a drive straight down yeah, here. Yeah, let's do it. All marine life and indigenous flora are protected. Yeah. I love the emphasis on nature here. National Park. Now, isn't the National Lake area? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Sure. So, these people we spoke to now say that this used to be the caravan park. And, and this is a yellow wood forest. All these trees are yellow woods and the caravan park sold the land and now residences are built and now it's the Lake Brenton estate. Did I understand correctly? Yes. Wild, eh? Don't you just love the trees? Sure. It's all about the trees for me. Conservation area. They say caution wildlife with no road sense. <laughs> That's the truth. Wow. 
only one road in and one road out. Makes it pretty secure. Brenton Park. All of it is private, so we won't yeah. be able to to get in anyway. The yellow woods, those big giant trees, also yellow woods. Yes. No. Oh. So it looks like this is the area for yeah. them. Hardy dog. It's a bush buck. Two. I just wanted to read the sign again. Conservation area. And now we see two bushbuck. Look at this. Now this is what it is all about. Look how chill they are. Well, this is what a conservation area is about, eh? Look at this. Look how shiny. Hi, gorgeous. Just continues eating. Yeah, and there's more in front there. My heart is immediately happier when I see wildlife. Yeah. Oh, how gorgeous. How lucky are they? Yeah. could have a bush buck in my garden any yes. day of the week. Love the spots on the legs and on the body, hey? <laughs> and always these on the cheeks yes. are my favorite. Oh, so there are some private residences Jumping. that yeah. aren't in an estate. Yeah. known this entire area is breathtaking. Yes. Wow. Always grab my opportunity for some gravel. Yes. is unbelievable. Like so dense. And when you green. come up to an area like this and it's wide open on the railway track. Okay. Now apparently this line used to come from George across the lake through to Nisner. Yeah, across the lagoon, hey? Yeah. It was a part of the Otaniqua Choo Choo yeah. route. It's been a long, long time. Okay, private purpose. Turn around. Oh, it's interesting. You can walk on this track right over onto the lagoon, eh? Yes. I wonder if it goes right across, if you can walk right across to Nisner on this track. That would be interesting to know. Yeah, I wonder. And the lady said that um, a part of the track washed away in an earlier flood oh. and it was never repaired. That's why the train doesn't go anymore. Oh, okay. 
very interesting, hey? Yeah, oh, love this. I never expected to find a, a train line here. No, that's so that was cool. Very. That is where the railway line crosses the lagoon. Beautiful from up here. Oh, and all you see is green and blue. <laughs> yeah, I know, but as far because one can see so far. Exactly. That Belvedere down there. That's what the sign said. I've never heard of Belvedere in my life. No. But I thought we could go take a quick drive through. It's going to have a squiz. Belvedere with an I. Belvedere House. Belvedere Anglican Church. I yes. See. They have like monument signs. Yeah. That intrigues me. So close together. Yes. Yes, the Anglican Church. Oh goodness no. Take a walk around, yeah. You'll have to.
sacred to the memory of John Barrington of Portland, died 1901, aged 52. Wow, John Barrington. Born in Sitchfield in the county of Durham, England, July 28, 1808. Wow. James Meredith Maurice, Lieutenant Colonel. Died at Portland, 30th of July, 1936. Very interesting. Another Sophie Gray church. Incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. It's a very neat stone. I was sitting admiring the curve here in front. Yes. Perfect. No, it's incredible. Consecrated in 1855. Yes. Yeah. Who knew we'd find that here? That's wild. And it's such a cute, cozy little church on the inside. Is it? Yeah, beautiful. Um, did you saw the sign as we came driving in here? I think it said Belvedere Estate yes. on the corner here. I just want to make sure it's what it actually says. Old Belvedere, okay. 1849. Yes, but one of the signs, signboards that we turned off yes. says Belvedere Estate. I think the whole area is called Belvedere Estate. I don't know. Yeah, I think this sign says Belvedere Estate. Well, let's go. There, there we go. Is. Okay. Is Belvedere Estate. All right. Belvedere Manor. Alright, so can we also take a drive through? Yeah, I think so. Nice. Because what I read up about the Belvedere Estate is also quite interesting. Yeah. Look at their fences. Like How horses. awesome is that? Yeah. I, I immediately think of horses. <laughs> Love that. It's your typical white picket fence. This is yes. a typical white picket fence for me. And the side, yes. just a little taller. Um, the Belvedere Estate story begins in 1830 when land known as Eitzicht was acquired by George Rex, the squire and proprietor of Neisner, as he was known. He added this lovely property to his estate, which then amounted to more than 24,000 acres and renamed it Belvedere. Wow. A raised place commanding a beautiful view. Yeah. Can we see the beautiful view? I don't know. Robert Gray. Robert Gray. Yeah. The that names that just keep on Sophie popping Sophie Gray's up. husband, eh? Yes. Yeah. Bishop. What a nice village this Yo. is. Okay. There the view comes into sure. view. Don't you just love these fences? Yes, I do. Here's the wooden bridge. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Look at this. Whoa. It's a 
beautiful, eh? The boardwalk. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. Yes. We have a long road ahead of us. So. This is really stunning. Eh? As much as you want to, no more getting out. No. <laughs> But it's pretty. Yes. The wind's pumping. Let's go see if we can find one more place and yep. then we're out of here. Yep. Love it, yeah. Yeah, very much. Mm, beautiful. The wind has come up now. Quickly. It's stronger. Historic country state established 1834. There we go. Belvedere house, the old house, yeah, you think? I really don't know. I thought that's the hotel. You think it could be the old house? Yeah. I really don't know. Don't know either. How cute are these? Very cute. Lake over here. Yeah. Nature, nature all around. <laughs> we have to turn around now. Yeah. <laughs> the bistro let's see us beautiful. Eh? I've got lots of folks checking in, I see. Yeah, and so that was the manor house that I was, saw there. Good. Yeah. And I see this restaurant called The Bell is also from there. 1834. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Yeah, it is. Eh? While you drive out here, I want to fix a quick boo-boo. Oh, what boo-boo? I never said who Lake Brenton and Brenton on Sea were named after. Okay. After, well Brenton on Sea at least, was named after Sir Jalil Brenton, who declared Nisna a harbour in 1818. Oh. 1818? Yes. That's a long time ago. 205 years ago. Yo. I just thought I had to add that little bit before we head out. Thank you. Well, we spent a few hours in a beautiful area. It was fantastic. I loved every single one of the three places we saw. Yeah. No, it was fun. And they have an abundance of natural beauty, which is what we're all about. Exactly.